Welcome to Texas Smoking Meats with Justin. We're going to be smoking this episode a pork butt in my homemade wooden smoker. First step is picking out our two uh, pork butts. We got about eight and a half pounders this time. We're going to coat them with mustard and then a generous uh, coating of my homemade butt rub. And that's going to be step one the night before. The homemade butt rub on this go around, it consists of the ingredients salt, brown sugar, cumin, red pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, celery salt, and black pepper. Mm. Okay, first step is mustard. You just basically cover it all like this, all over. Mm. Mm. Uh, okay, so this is mustard coating, and now we coat with a generous portion of the rub and rub it in. Okay, so this is the butts all rubbed up. Uh, I'm going to wrap them up, put them in the fridge overnight, and uh, we'll get them in the smoker bright and early tomorrow morning. Indeed. Day two. And a little cue here. We got a little assistant today. It's about 7.30 in the morning. We're about to smoke some pulled pork. In my homemade smoker here. Simple construction. Two by four walls. Bound together by one by two. We got a little plywood roof. Come on in. We run it off of uh, propane. I'm heating it up right now. I got three grill racks. I got my drip pan here. Uh, I got my smoke sticks up top. If I want to hang some sausages or whatever. Today, we're going to do a couple of pulled pork on this rack, rack of ribs on the top later on. Again, propane for heat. Uh, to regulate the heat, we also do charcoal. I got my wood soaking here. Uh, I'm going to put a little apple juice in the drip pan. Let's go get the meat and get this thing started. It's about eight in the morning. Watch out, little cute. About to some barbecue. Okay, we're about at the temperature. We're going to put the meats in. Come on with me. One. Boom. Two. Boom. That's where they'll be. Temperature is a good 225. I'm going to take some of my apple and hickory and get it really going in there. After I soak it, get some heat going right in here. We're about at the 225. Turn the propane down, let the wood do the work. Smoke will be coming out of there. We only got 12 more hours, something like that, 13, 14. Yeah, we're running a little hot, so this will be a good chance for us to take a peek and uh, refuel. Let's take a see what's going on here. I've uh, turned the propane down. Um, Gonna put a little apple juice in the drip pan. Keep that being good. We'll throw a little more, a couple more things of logs on there. Get some good smokage going. And now I'm gonna hand it to my brother for some rib tips. Welcome to Texas Smokers. This is a slab of St. Louis style pork ribs. We've got two. The difference in St. Louis style and baby back is St. Louis has a little extra meat that we carve. This has already been carved. The membrane's been taken off. What we're about to do now is do the same carving. On a St. Louis style, it comes with a skirt. We'll want to remove that. We'll remove this back flap here. And then if you can tell the difference in the shininess, this one's still got its membrane on. This one has already got the membrane off. So next time you see this video, this slab will look like this. Excellent. Refill with wood. Here we looking now. We got ribs on the top, brisket on the bottom. Texas smokers. 
We just got the ribs off. We cut them a little early. I'm doing a three, two, one method. We let these go about two and a half hours. Uh, so step one's out. Um, the next step is step two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap these in foil. I'm about to put some apple juice on top and on the bottom of these ribs, we're gonna wrap them up, put them back in for two hours, and I'll fill you in on the next step after that. We are now down to the last process of the three, two, one. We smoked for three hours, just straight on the rack. For the past two hours, they've been wrapped in this foil with apple juice. What we're doing now is taking the foil off and we're going to put these directly back on the rack for the last hour. This is what they look like now. Hopefully when we pull them out, they'll be a little more caramelized mm -hmm. and have that nice crust. Okay, so we have finished the three, two, one process. This is the last hour. They've been on the rack for an hour now and they are coming off. We're gonna put- And I'm fixing thermometer. to hold the pan. Dad is holding the pan. We're gonna put the thermometer in the middle of just the short butt Dog. and see what temperature they're at. And hopefully everything can come off. Mm. Oh, look at that caramelization. That's what we were going for, boy. That's why we didn't pour that apple juice back on top. All right, do you want me to tuck this on in? Take it in. Okay. Those are done. Justin, what, what does your temperature need to be? And then I got my uh, pork butt going here. You got a flashlight or something? I can see it. 160. 160? Oh, that's got to go. That's going to cook until it gets to about 185, 190. Hours left. Finished product with the ribs. Just butter. Other fish to hang on. Mm, let me see it. How's that looking? And mm. hey guys, we're at the 11 hour point. Um, refilling some uh, water in the drip pan here. If I can get it in there. Make sure we got it up there. I'm gonna spritz it. Um, you can see we're still at 165. And we're at what's called the stall. And this pork butt will hit 160, 165, and it'll stay there sometimes for a couple hours. Uh, but you want to leave it in. I cook to the temperature of the butt, not the time of the of the of the smoke. So I want that butt to be about 185, 190. I'll take it off. Let me see that. Just took them out. Um, almost 15 hours. Still a little under the temperature that I wanted, but it's getting late. Um, looking forward to um, pulling it apart in just a little bit. I'm gonna cover it with foil for half an hour, and then uh, we'll pull it up and have some pulled pork. That's how we do it.